Hey guys, this is Tom Taylor from Rock News Desk back with you for a cool hard rock story you may have missed. This is all about the first meeting between a young Axl Rose and Diamond David Lee Roth, the veteran rocker and former frontman of the legendary rock band Van Halen. Axl went to Dave for advice and left saying he was disgusted by what Roth told him. The meeting happened just a few days after Donington, England hosted the Monsters of Rock Festival on August 20th, 1988. The awesome lineup consisted of Iron Maiden, Kiss, David Lee Roth, Megadeth, and Halloween. Fifth on the bill was a relatively new band that had recently released their third single in England entitled Sweet Child of Mine. The single was a follow-up to It's So Easy and then Welcome to the Jungle. Sweet Child was burning up the charts that summer, and Guns N' Roses was getting their first taste of superstardom. As the band took the stage, they were greeted by about 107,000 screaming fans. The rowdy crowd began pushing towards the stage, creating a dangerous situation. That situation was exacerbated by the fact the ground in front of the stage was completely soaked and muddy from inclement weather the days leading up to the concert. Steven Adler, GNR's drummer at the time, in his book, My Appetite for Destruction, wrote, It was mid-afternoon when we hit the stage. Everyone was so out of control that we had to stop the show several times because people kept rushing the stage. Axel kept asking the crowd to settle down and back up. All right, the promoters asked us in order to keep on playing to ask for the same thing. Can you move back? Everybody try to take a step back. We got some people unconscious still. Hey, look, this takes out of my time playing too, man. This is the only time I have fun all day. As the show continued, the ground conditions worsened and the crowd pushed even more towards the stage. Caught up in the surge of bodies were about 30 people who were unable to stay on their feet and began to get trampled. Unaware this was happening, Guns N' Roses continued their set. Adler recounted, People were getting crushed at the front of the stage, but it wasn't until the next day, after we had landed back in the U.S., that we were told that two kids were killed during our set. They had been trampled to death. I was shell-shocked, numb, and I couldn't quite believe it. The media blamed the band. In 2018, Doug Goldstein, Guns N' Roses' manager at the time of the infamous concert, gave an interview with Guns N' Roses Central, spoke about the incident, and told the story of Axel meeting David Lee Roth just after the Donington performance. According to Goldstein, Axel saw Roth drinking in the hotel bar and asked him to introduce them. Axel said, can you introduce me to him? I want to talk to him. I said, yeah, sure. Dave, this is Axel. Dave replied, hey man, how you doing? Diamond Dave, sit down. So Axel said, how do you deal with stuff like that when it happens? He goes, oh fuck man, you're in the UK. Ten people die every time they hold a soccer match. Fuck it, it's rock and roll. Axel just said, really? I'm sorry, I don't really want to sit here anymore. He went back to his room. He was disgusted at Dave, and I was kind of embarrassed that I introduced them. To each his own, I guess. Everybody has their own way of getting through things. While that first meeting between the rock and roll giants may not have gone perfectly well, it seems like Axel didn't hold much of a grudge. In 2006, Axel called Dave great after telling another story about hanging out with the former Van Halen vocalist. That story will be covered in an upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you're enjoying these videos, please comment below. I'd love to know what you think about this and any of the videos from Rock News Desk. You guys take care.